Thank you for choosing the new Flymo Robotic Lawnmower 1200R. Before installation, it's important to gain a general understanding of the product principle. Then please follow the enclosed installation manual carefully. Installing a Flymo Robotic Lawnmower is not difficult. But when you're doing it for the first time, a guide can be helpful for moving through the individual steps. This film can help you and make installation easier. Working Principle The Flymo Robotic Lawnmower 1200R operates completely on its own and mows the lawn independently. When required, it automatically returns to the charging station. A boundary wire defines the lawn area to be mowed and a sensor in the robotic lawnmower ensures that it remains within this area. It works by mowing the grass in a random pattern. Daily mowing and mulching guarantee a perfect lawn. As the robotic lawnmower has a collision sensor, some obstacles do not require a boundary wire. The Flymo 1200R tackles inclines up to 25% and also mows during rain. It works quietly, saves energy and is emission free. Each garden has its own challenges. Observe your mower in action after installation and if necessary make small adjustments for optimal functioning. Contents of box. First, we will unbox the Flymo Robotic Lawn Mower 1200R and see what comes with it. You will find a small rule inserted in the cover of the box. This will help you lay the boundary wire with proper distance to various obstacles. A roll of boundary and guide wire. Two bags with pegs that you can use to secure the wire to the ground. A charging station that sends signals along the boundary and guide wire and also charges the mower. On the back you will find all wire connections. A power supply that must be connected to a mains outlet. A low voltage cable that connects the power supply with the charging station. A bag with connectors for the charging station and couplers to connect the guide wire to the boundary wire or to repair a damaged wire. A bag with three screws that secure the charging station to the ground. An extra set of cutting blades. Anti-theft stickers. And naturally, the robotic lawnmower. You will also find a printed manual, a quick guide, and this installation movie, which you are now watching. The only tools required are a hammer for the pegs and two pairs of pliers, a wire cutter and pliers for the couplers. This is the Flymo Robotic Lawn Mower 1200R. On the underside of the mower is the cutting disc with three razor sharp blades. On the back is the main switch. The mower has a large stop switch that also opens the hatch. Under the hatch you will find the display and keypad for all menu settings. There is also a knob for adjusting the mowing height between 2 and 5 centimeters. In this window you can view the current mowing height setting. For the safety of people and animals, the mower is equipped with lift, tilt and collision sensors. The mower also has an alarm that can help prevent theft. Placement of the charging station. The first thing you should do is to make a simple sketch of your garden to get an overview. This will help you plan your boundary and guide wire placement and placement of the charging station. 
The charging station should be set up in a central place in the garden, with the mains outlet within 10 meters. Please never place your charging station outside the lawn area and make sure that the cable connections are aligned towards the lawn end. For the mower to optimally function, there should be 1.5 meters free space to the sides and 2 meters in front of the charging station. The location must be even to ensure that the mower drives into the charging station without problems. If possible, pick a shady location. Now just place the station. Do not secure it with the screws yet. So that you may start mowing as soon as you've finished installation, we advise you to put the mower on charge now. Plug the low voltage cable into the charging station and the power supply into the power outlet. Turn the main power switch on and push your robotic lawnmower into the charging station. The mower will now start charging. The boundary and guide wire. Now it's time to lay the boundary and guide wire on your lawn for the Flymo Robotic Lawn Mower 1200R. The boundary wire defines the mowing area for the robotic lawn mower. The guide wire is important for showing the mower the way back to the charging station. The charging station sends a signal through the wires. The robotic lawn mower has a sensor that detects the signal as it approaches the wire. If it runs over the cable, it stops, turns and continues to mow in a different random direction. If the mower needs to be charged, the guide wire sends a signal that shows the mower the way back to the charging station. Laying the boundary wire Start laying the boundary wire and begin at the charging station. Do not connect it yet, but take an additional approximately 50 centimeter of wire and secure it like this. As the robotic lawnmower always passes the wire a few centimeters before it turns, the wire must be laid at different distances from obstacles. Here, the ruler comes in handy. It has three printed distances, 5, 20 and 30 centimeters. In front of hard walls, you should use 30 centimeters distance, otherwise the mower will collide with the wall at every turn. With flower beds, where there is no risk of collision, 20 centimeters distance is sufficient. If the distance is smaller, the mower may drive over the edge and get stuck. Near paved paths, on level with the lawn, we recommend using 5 cm. The robotic lawn mower will use a part of the path to turn and no uncut grass will remain. On gravel paths like this, there is a risk that the mower will get stuck. Therefore, use the 20 cm distance. If you have hard surface paths like this, you can just let the mower pass over. Around ponds, you need to use 30 cm distance to ensure that the mower stays on the lawn. For greater security, there should be a barrier with approximately 15 cm height. These are guide distances. To optimize mowing results, you can adjust the wire once you've learned how the robotic lawnmower works in your garden. Place the pegs on level lawn areas at a distance of about 70 centimeters. This is only a guide distance and depends on various factors. Be sure to stretch out the wire smoothly. If an uneven lawn makes it rise in the air, you will need to use extra pegs. Otherwise, there is a risk that the mower will cut the wire during mowing. Alternatively, you can also make a thin slit in the lawn with a spade, like this. Lay the wire approximately 5 to 10 centimeters into the ground. This is a good option if your lawn is very uneven. 
if you would like Air 8 without problems or if you want a hidden wire from the start. But even if you lay the wire on the ground, it will be completely overgrown after a few months. If there are obstacles on your lawn that you do not want the mower to hit, you will need to create islands with the boundary wire. When you lay the wire to the obstacle, do not hammer the peg in immediately, as the wire will need to be laid in the same peg on the way back. As described before, lay the wire around the obstacle. The direction is important. Do not cross the wire. You should view this as an extension of your boundary wire. If you're coming from left, start on the left side of the obstacle. If you don't do this, the mower will not recognize this as an island and cannot pass. It stops and you will receive an error message on the robotic lawnmower display. When you close the circle, place the wire in the same pegs on the way back. Only when the wires lie close to each other is the signal cancelled. The robotic lawnmower doesn't register a signal and passes by. Some obstacles do not require this and are recognized by the mower. The main body of the mower is a collision sensor. When the robotic lawnmower drives to a tree and collides, it independently turns around and changes direction. It is, however, important that the tree does not have visible roots, as the mower will cut them or get stuck. Also be careful with woody shrubs, as the mower can get stuck in them. Again, it's good to create a sketch of your garden at the beginning, because the guide wire later needs to be connected with the boundary wire in a central place across from the charging station. If you have pre-planned this spot, you can leave approximately 10 centimeters of wire more at this location. If you're planning future trees or flower beds, it's a good idea to lay some spare boundary wire, like here. When you return to the charging station, leave 50 centimeters of wire for the connection and cut the wire. Laying the guide wire. Now it's time to lay the guide wire. This wire will help the mower find its way back to the charging station when the timer calls or when it needs recharging. Lay the guide wire beginning at the charging station and lead it to a central point on the opposite side. If you have a slope in front of the charging station, lay the guide wire diagonally so that the mower will have optimal traction. If you have a remote section in your garden, it's a good idea to connect the guide wire here to help the mower find its way back to the charging station. Start by threading the wire through the ground plate of the charging station. Leave 50 centimeters for the connection. Make sure the wire is straight 2 meters in front of the charging station. Use the pegs and continue with the wire until you reach the planned spot at the end of the lawn. If you planned for this spot when placing the boundary wire, You'll have now extra wire to connect the guide wire with the boundary wire. If not, you may need to extend the wire with another coupler. Cut the boundary wire and guide wire. Use this coupler. It has three holes. And thread all three wires to the bottom of the coupler. It, it doesn't matter in which hole you put the wires. Then squeeze the coupler with pliers. The plug is filled with grease that makes it weatherproof. Use the pegs to secure everything in the lawn. In this video, we have handled a few garden layouts. 
In the manual, you will find more examples that might be helpful for your individual installation. Wire connecting. Now we are almost finished with the installation of the Flymo Robotic Lawnmower 1200R. You just need to connect all the wires. On the back part of the charging station are three wire ends that need to be equipped with connectors. Take a measurement at the contacts on the charging station. Stick the wire into the plug. Fold over and squeeze with pliers. Cut off any surplus wire. Once you've done all three, connect them. This is important. The boundary wire from the left side must be connected to the left connection and vice versa. Finally, connect the guide wire to its blue marked connector. Place the charging station on the ground and secure it with the supplied screws. Make sure no wires can get in contact with the mower. If installation has been done correctly, the LED light in the charging station will glow steady green and the mower can start its work. If this is not the case, the troubleshooting chapter in the DVD menu or the manual will help you. Robotic Lawnmower Startup before starting your Flymo Robotic Lawnmower 1200R, remove objects such as pine cones, children's toys, or smaller obstacles from the lawn. Turn the main switch on and place the mower in the charging station. Press the stop button and open the hatch. Enter the pin code 1234 by default and follow the startup wizard. If you prefer, you can just let your mower work with the standard factory settings, but we recommend that you make your personal choices according to the circumstances of your garden. Please read the Flymo manual for detailed menu information. At the beginning, set the cutting height to max. This will prevent the robotic lawnmower from cutting the wire. After a few days, you can start lowering the cutting height. Your new robotic lawnmower will start with a test of your installation. If installation has been done correctly, the robotic lawnmower will follow the guide wire all the way to the point where it is connected to the boundary wire. The cutting disc will start running and the mower will start to work. At any time, you can test that the mower finds its way to the charging station. Place the mower at the end of the guide wire, about 3 meters from it. Make sure the mower points toward the guide wire. Enter the menu and select Home. When you start the mower, it should follow the guide wire all the way back to the charging station and dock. Set the mower to Auto Mode. That is what you normally use. Watch the robotic lawnmower in action, especially how it keeps the desired distance to obstacles. You will normally need to adjust the wire in a few places. Secondary Areas if your garden is divided into several areas that are separated, for example, by gravel paths or terraces that render the areas inaccessible,